Hey guys, so I'm about to do some modifications to my tank, so I just want to make sure I tried to do a video before I do that. Um, I know it's kind of going to be tough to get the right coloration with the amount of blue that's in the tank right now. The lights are kind of like about to go down. Um, so it makes it a little bit difficult to get the true color and the right definition and everything with the GoPro. Um, this is my best camera I have right now. So that makes it a little bit more difficult and everything. But I want to at least try to do this. And kind of do like a little tank overview that I have here. I wish this wasn't in widescreen also. It was just like normal. But um... Yeah, so this is my tank right here. Um, it's a 120 gallon tank. For anybody who doesn't know. Um, a huge fanatic of coral reef and saltwater hobby and everything like that. Sorry to make this choppy. I'm just trying to kind of find a way that it gives better color without it being too artificial. I think that this is a little bit better. Um, so I have a 120 gallon tank right now. Coral reef, fish. Um, I have two angels, I have two leopard grasses, two unicorn tangs, four antheas, a bunch of really nice fish basically. Recently I've had some issues. As you can see with this Acropora, directly in front of the camera you can see that it's partially bleached on the left hand side um, I think that that might be due to some star polyps that you can kind of see growing on the right hand side of it I've also had this bird nest start to kind of go unfortunately no, another huge reason why I want to make this video um, I've had some issues with my refugium being down and my um, auto top off being off that's been making things difficult for me and normal water changes really aren't doing enough effort for me so I just need to keep working at that to show what I got going on up above super super bright unfortunately so I got these max spec Mazara LEDs. This is the control panel. If I can turn on, maybe the screen will light up so you can kind of see something. It's tough to see, but it has an auto timer so that it automatically dims on and dims off to the percentages that I set for it. Like I said, I have two of these. Um, there is a light blue channel, a dark blue channel, a white channel, and then there's a UV and red channel. The UV red channel and the two blue channels are all 3 watt LEDs, Cree, and the uh, white channel is all 5 watt LEDs. As you can see, these are kind of old. I've had these for a long time. I love these panels. Um, I'm actually thinking about taking them off though only because I recently came into possibly some new T5s. I've recently added T5s. I have an aquatic life on the back running a white and a blue. And then I have this coral life fixture here that as you can kind of see off the surface of the water, there's a purple, two dark purples and a blue bowl. T5s have really done some wonders for my tank, really blown up some of the LPS corals and made them just flourish so much, so much better. Um, again, I'm really disappointed that this Acropora here is going out because my school of Chromis actually sleep in the Acropora and sleep in the bird's nest, which might be part of the reason why it's they're dying. Um, you can see across the tank I have this big white tube. That big white tube is actually a spray bar that I've created out of PVC. 
Um, you can see that my whole overflow back there is a reef ready tank. So the overflow has zoas growing up it that I glued on there for effect. Um, I also have this Tunzi that's actually not on right now, but my, what is this one? My Eco, Ecotech. Um, Vortec MP40, I have two of them, and they run in counter current sync together. You see up here, it's a couple of my stuff, electrical stuff and timers and everything. Um, they run in counter current sync with each other on lagoon mode so that they slowly ramp up and then slowly ramp down against each other rather than together. Um, that orange is actually not a coral, that's a sponge, it's called a tree sponge. And then this is my Tunzi care magnet. Absolutely my favorite magnet I've ever used on a fish tank. I bring it out to clients' houses even because it's really so easy to use, works so well. The blade in it is so strong. It cuts through stuff like butter. It's amazing. Um, just to show you, it's kind of hard because it's like dark, but got my auto top off here. I do have a auto doser down there, but I haven't used it in some time. Um, I've currently been topping off with ABC Plus by Red Sea, which gives a lot of the foundation elements plus some other stuff. Um, and then you can see that up here, I just have some foods. I have my power bar. I have a bottle of Revive for dipping some SPS before it goes into that tank if I don't know where it's come from. I got one feeding, the feeding pump, the, one automatic feeder here, and one automatic feeder here. The automatic feeders feed two different types of food. One is a 0.5 milligram, or 0.5 millimeter, sorry. And then the other one is a one millimeter. I do that so that my fish can get a variety of different foods in addition to any frozen foods that I might feed them. And now I'm just uncovering my sump. I know it's a little bit dark. I'm going to pull my flashlight out in a second. So as you can see down here, I got some Calerpa. I call it disc Calerpa and it's mixed with regular Shado. I also have some Palomita growing right here. I have a 20 watt LED hooked up underneath there on a timer. Runs counter current to my regular lights. I forget exactly which pump this is down here, but it's one of the Jabo pumps that I bought at a Braggers Farmer Market. DC works great. Um, and for like a hundred bucks, absolutely worth it. You can see back there, I need to replace my filter stock, obviously. And then I got the Tunzi 9040, if I remember correctly. It's their skimmer. It works amazing. It's not the DC model, but I highly, highly recommend it. It's rated for about 300 gallons. Next to it, you can see my lifeguard. I believe I have the extra large sized one running bio pellets. I'm soon gonna be putting some all-in-one bio pellets in there. And then way in the back, it's kinda hard to see by the ERS reactor going on back there. And that's running all of the Coral Zivit, or KZ, I forget exactly how to pronounce the company. It's a German company. It makes some really good um, additives. It's running all of their dosing blocks. So that it automatically doses my tank for me with potassium, iodine, trace elements, and amino acids. Love that. Um, that's helped out a lot. You can see it's being fed by that pump over there. Taping a step back so you can just see the full tank. My friend James built me the stand. I put the doors on, that's why it's so terrible, but the rest of it is 4x4s that I stained myself. Once again, I'll zoom in so you can kind of see, not the greatest job in the world, but 
it gets away with what it means, you know. Um, James did a fantastic job on building this stand for me. This tank's been running for about three years now, if I remember correctly. I love it. It's my hobby. It's my number, probably my number one hobby. Absolutely love it. I work in a fish shore even. I maintain people's fish tanks. I've been so engrossed in this hobby. Um, it's just my baby. I'm doing some modifications soon, so I wanted to make sure that I got a first time video, I guess you can call it, or something like that. Just showing what's going on in it what I have in the tank, all of that type of stuff. Um, and hopefully, it's just gonna be going on the up and up, you know? You never really know with salt water. All right, well thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this is my first aquarium video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask questions in the comments. If you like this video, please like it. If you want to see more of this type of stuff, subscribe. I will be posting more about fish tanks, products, all those different types of things. Um, and if you want to follow my band or any of the other stuff in my life, I have links down below. Thank you again. Bye.